natural that you can get here? I didn't see that in the States. You have mm. to buy expensive seventh generation and spend $2 a roll yeah. to get naturally fibered toilet. Okay. Right. And we already know how ridiculous paper is to be cleaning our butt with, including yeah. our... So I just take this as always in my pocket. I'm always peeing everywhere, and you just catch a couple drips, you know. And so, okay, so wash it. Wash it every day or every two days, whenever you think you need to... You know, just like people used to carry their handkerchief. Didn't you ever wonder, oh, yeah. how do you yeah. take that yeah, and blow it, it and put it back in your pocket? <laughs> yep. It never, you know, and it was socially acceptable. Yep. Well, so I would say, well, okay. That's right, yeah. yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and, and also for menstruation, I do use rags. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely divine, I absolutely love it. I take two strips. Well, I'll take, mm, eh, anyways, it, um, I'll take a, a, a washcloth and fold it in half, and I might put this in the middle so it has an extra layer. So when you have the heaviest part of your flow, and um, it never goes through to the underwear. It's the only time I wear underwear, by the way. That's another industry that would go out of business if we would all, you know, free ourselves up. I call underwear adult diapers. Yeah. Now, why are we still wearing them? Mm -hmm. Now, if you have incontinence or some issues, okay understandable but most people don't so yeah, that's when why I are you suffocating early. the genitals everything needs to breathe you want to wear minimal minimal clothing and it might be and, a yeah. reason why women have a lot of trouble with thrush as well because they're not getting that area with their oxygen probably mm. men have issues too they have mm. rashes and things happen on their genitals um, just suffocation Yep. You know, mm -hmm. um, and you live if you're in northern climates, okay, do what you have. But I tell most people, like, they'll say, well, you can't eat fruit in the northern, you know, uh, it's cold and everything and it makes your body cold. Well, I ask people, what's your apartment like? What do you wear at home? Are you wearing mittens and scarves and jackets and side? Oh, no, a pair of shorts and a t shirt. Why is, why is that? Well, the heating's on and it's tropical temperatures. So all of us are living in tropical settings wherever yeah. we are. That's a good it point. doesn't matter how cold, you know, unless you're up in, you know, in an igloo, yeah. you know, you're living, most people have shorts and a t-shirt on in their central heated mm. homes. So we're creating, everywhere we go, we're creating environments like this, where you don't need AC and you don't need, you know, heating. And we create those environments in our home. We add humidifiers. That's the tropics. It's humidity in the air. Why do we get too dried out, Yeah, you know, in the deserts? And so, so think <coughs> about it. You need to start looking at the things we do and... Not that they're ridiculous, but all the ways we're trying to get back to a natural state mm. of being for the human being. And people do like to be naked at home yeah. when they can. Mm -hmm. Well, what about being naked outdoors? That's not okay, but here it is. Like, if you have your space and... Um, so, um, hmm, what's I going to say? But um, did I cover what you... Answer your question on sun gazing? Just like... Just don't Enjoy let it be it. a big deal. You know, you're if you're if it's your first time and you're looking into the sun and you're getting all this, I can't, I can't. Okay, so look at the periphery. Mm. Don't look right in. Look yeah, at the outer glow. It. You know, I've even just okay. Yeah, because yeah, it goes through. Because at the yeah, at these guys' the place, it's already fairly high. Yeah. And the last couple of mornings have been great because there's been some clouds. Clouds. So I've been able to. Okay. Another okay. thing is to position it. a tree between yeah. you and the sun. Like to message what you're downloading here mm. I think that people are for now people are coming here to the space as far as me you mean going out and speaking right. when I go to the US every year to visit my family I do speak and that's usually in San Diego California and um, and I have spoken and I will do that I feel that it's part of the work but ultimately you're going to receive the lesson on a much deeper level yeah. the lessons by being here yeah. and I can talk about this farm all day long right. in San Diego California in some raw food restaurant mm -hmm. and you know it just doesn't it's quite do it I want your, has your yeah. family been supportive and have they been here at all oh yeah my mom's here every year she turned she got into living foods uh, six five years ago she started at 68 Wow. She's 73 and is just thriving. She's just doing, just loves it. She's just way into it. I never pushed her. I just told her I was moving on this path. And she did like a overnight, started doing this. So I was very, something very wonderful I share with my mother. I told her eating with you when I go back to San Diego and we sit down and have a meal is the most compassionate, nonviolent, wonderful experience around eating I've ever had in my life. Oh, wow. That's you know, mama. 
Pardon? It's your mama. Yeah, eating with her, but also the food we're eating. Mm -hmm. You know, they say really fruit is the only nonviolent food you can eat. Mm -hmm. Because everything else, including a vegetable or a carrot, you're taking the life. Yeah. You know, and, and maybe that's out. okay. You're taking Pull the life out. force of that thing into your body. But with fruit, you're, you're not killing the host tree. You're helping it. You're disseminating seed. <coughs> and yeah. I take that deeply, you know. I think about that. And it is the food that I'm most drawn to. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Fruit, if I had to choose over veggies, over, uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically what I'm eating all day. You mm. know, 90, probably 95 percent. So the you grain of the fruit this way, but I'm going to open it this way. Okay. Okay, wow. so inside here, what you can do is with your fingers, here's the cacao seeds, and they have this white pulpy stuff. So I'm, I'm not so interested in the cacao seeds, although people do eat the nibs and things like that. I find that seeds are... Mm, sometimes are are drug like and mm -hmm. highly toxic. Yeah, and I I, I also um, I feel that our symbiotic relationship with nature and the human species is to eat what surrounds the seed, the package, you know, that the food, mm -hmm. the seed, and and pass it and disseminate it. That ensures the survival of the tree. So cacao, you know, I know someone who ate a few of these and her heart started palpitating. Like I really take it, so I don't ingest yeah. any cacao. What you can do now is take your fingers and grab a few of these and suck it, suck the white uh, tissue off. It's very sweet. Thank uh, you. Here, why don't Ooh. you guys work on that one? Mmm. Yeah. You can gra get oh in my here God. and grab them. They will come right off. <laughs> Wow, mm. that's amazing. It tastes better than the chocolate. Matter of perspective. Mm. <laughs> now, if any of you want this, these seeds, you take them home and you ferment them for five days, I think in either a bag or something, and then you can dry them in a dryer or out in the sun. I don't know, are you doing anything with the cow? I don't usually bother with the whole process now. Mm -hmm. um, wow, those are really good. And we can make our way to the shed. Well, an incredible experience. You can see the thatched roof is becoming a living roof. Oh, wow. wow. It little is, trees isn't it? and um, things are That's attaching amazing. to it. And moss. Wow. You That's know, um, I wish I could leave it like that, but mm. the water's coming through. So you're welcome to come in here. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. Anything you want to, yeah. any seeds or... Put them in there, yeah. This is basically the shed. It's, um, you can feel the dirt floor on your mm. feet. I have a friend from New York. Every time he comes here, all he does when he first gets here, he rips his clothes off and he just does this. For like five <laughs> That's all he can do. He's so... Wanting connection. Right. It's his natural instinct. I didn't I just watched this guy. He just starts doing circles wow. and touching the earth. What a great environment to raise a kid. Mm. Mm. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean it would do what for them this would just be eating. So I keep I keep some fruit and things here, um clothing and some just his personal possessions and fruit, racks of bananas, some tools, you know, basic and that's it, sink. This is my, you know, all I need is a knife and a, you know, cutting board and a sink. Those are my tools. I, it's just no blenders, no, you know. And it makes it easy. The food, it, it's instant, you know. I, um, right? You just cut open an orange. Uh, I'm not spending any time on food prep. Mm -hmm. um, it's all been baked in the sun, right? It's all mm -hmm. baked. Uh, if you'd like to try, these little bananas are... Oh, wow, um, thank you. These are ripe. That's why I offered them. The other ones aren't. But um, this, these have seeds in them. It's actually a unique... Uh, Are they apple bananas? Is that what they Yeah, called? I think that's one of the names. But I don't know if all the apple... Do you eat those seeds? Um, you, yeah, you end up swallowing them because they're small. And they just come through mm -hmm. as fiber. Um, Thank you. It's a different, so different flavor. Cute banana. <laughs> Is this yeah. the work that Henry did for you? The new wall? And um, then... he, so try, we can uh, go down and get um, 
some heart of palm too. Um, what a view. And that's the thing, like you're standing here and you're preparing food, like you said, and you're looking out. It's like, wow. <laughs> this window and how, you know, how can you not just feel good? You know, you're, you're standing on bare earth, you know, and you're eating this wonderful food that's alive, that's living and life, you know, life. Divine. Look at the little opening up with the little like inside, and look at these like standing orchids. Orchids, yeah. I've been and we'll see some more. I have, and this flower smells so strong. I was say it looks like it smells. Yeah, I think it's.